Yeah, this is definitely one for the grandkids. Like, whatever we yeah. wind up doing with the rest of our lives, if we're total deadbeat losers, <laughs> we could still be like, I played MSG, Madison Square Garden, in 2013. And they'd be like, shut up, Grandpa. Yeah, whatever, no, no, you didn't. No, you Be playing Madison Square Garden is, you know, like a huge honor for all of us. And yes, like especially for me being from New Jersey, like I feel like I, us as a band and me as a person, I'm hit, like it's a pinnacle event, you know what I mean? And truth be told, like all morning this morning, I was at my apartment just blasting Bruce Springsteen live at the Madison Square Garden, like all morning, just like, oh my God, this is so awesome. This is so great. It's kind of a surreal thing for me. I think it's one of those things I won't really understand until it's over. And this is actually, today was my first time ever stepping foot in that building, which is kind of strange. I feel like that's not the right way it's <laughs> going about things. Like, I should have seen, like, basketball games or other concerts, but today is a big learning experience <laughs> for me, pretty much. And if you're not reminded of how amazing MSG is, they have two flags hanging in the center, one is a, for Billy Joel and one is for Elton John. I think like Billy Joel sold out 12 consecutive nights there mm -hmm. and Elton John has played MSG 62 times or yep. something like that. It's, it's one of those venues that is just, I, it's literally known worldwide. Like I think you could go anywhere in the world and people would know what that is. They've heard of it before, like they've grown up knowing about it. So it's just one of those places that is kind of like ingrained inside of you. <laughs> What makes this this? I've never really come up with a good answer for it. Um, I think a lot of it is the kind of layering of really heavy themes but over ridiculously happy music. I think it's really smart songwriting and I really feel like Michael gets better and better with every record. The live show really kind of brings the album to life in a unique way because that's when it becomes like such a collaboration between everybody putting it together that um, I think it's just an interesting experience for people to listen to and then go see and experience it live as well. I think that since we didn't get nominated for a Grammy, we're still indie. That makes us still indie. Yeah. Not mainstream. We still have our cool factor, so they actually did us a favor. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I mean, I, I saw that it was on a bunch of lists, and I really, really liked it the record that Michael put together, and I did think it was one of the best ones that I heard last year. Um, so I was happy that other people appreciate it too. Um, our live show, I think, has grown a lot in over the past six, seven months or so. Um, we've really, really kind of expanded from where we ended up at the end of Touring on Manners. We have changed some members. We've got a lot more keyboards on stage. We've got a lot more lights happening, a lot more songs finally. When you get off stage after playing one of those sets, you kind of feel like you've done some work <laughs> instead of like a 25 minute like dance off. It's feeling really good. I, I feel like we're becoming the band that we always have wanted to be for a long time. I still get chills looking at it, like walking into the garden and seeing the full production that we put through for it and seeing all of it. It's just like, I was, you know, lost for words seeing it. I didn't know that remix video existed till it popped up online, but I actually really, really like it. And I think out of any video that has had our name in the title, I think it's actually one of the best. As far as what's happening in it, I mean, the obvious is that a bunch of kids are taking some pop rock type <laughs> drugs and exploding all over the place into multiple <laughs> personalities of themselves. I personally just think it's a huge look that Tiesto did that remix, you know, and he is like top five world biggest DJ. You know, the fact that he remixed one of our songs and could be incorporating that into his live sets is huge for us. I grew up on the East Coast and I would always see the Coachella lineups and I would always be so jealous. Like They just looked so awesome and I always wanted to go. And oddly enough, the first time I went is when we played. And for us, I think that was kind of another milestone in this band's career. I just remember I was actually like having heat exhaustion and I was like not doing well. Yeah, I was like freaking out, like pale. Like, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs>